Good morning. Welcome to Good Day Tulsa on this Thursday. I'm Sunny Lee. And I'm Joy Bettenhausen. How's your back today? The back is a little bit better, but I had to develop this whole routine, if you will. My cat was probably looking at me crazy. Yeah. So I looked online for lower back stretches. So I did six of those. Mm -hmm. And then I did the Epsom salt soak. And then I did ice. And then I did six more stretches, different ones. And then I used the heating pad. And so it's not excruciating pain today, which is okay. great. It, I'm still a little stiff and I definitely, you know, some movements are more painful than others yeah but we're finally making some improvement and you did this she did this lifting weights which is why I sit on the couch and eat Funyuns because you never get a back strain when you sit and eat no Funyuns, what's just... even worse is I was putting the weight away it wasn't even during the actual exercise oh, I know why do they put the heavy 45 pound plates low by your feet I don't know why were you picking up 45 pound plates girl it's easy to use it when you got yeah. the legs you know yeah. I guess my arm strength not so much but yeah. I think you know who won out of that whole thing yesterday Who's that? my cat she's like oh my gosh mom you're home the whole day and it's I'm like yeah because I couldn't go anywhere else my yeah. back is too in pain so we got a lot of snuggles in we played string she loves that so okay sky is one very happy woman I was gonna say yeah she had a little extra time with mom she well, did glad the back is better thank you very today. much all right so holiday shoppers can rejoice because guess what Amazon has announced big deal days and it's coming this October. We just celebrated Amazon Prime Day in July. It feels like yesterday, but Amazon has now added a second major sale event happening this October. The sale is exclusive to Prime members and will feature two days of special savings on thousands of items just in time for the holidays, ah, just in time for my husband Just to in discover. time for me to pay off the credit card from the last Amazon oh, Prime sale. I so. feel like it was Christmas in our home. Every day he kept pulling in big stuff he ordered and elliptical he's like you're gonna help me with this this was before the back pain yeah. I'm like no JJ call your brother and so his brother came over and they hoofed it into the office it's still not put together yet yeah so I we'll see had one and it ended up being a fancy sweater hanger at my house so. <laughs> that's our current exercise bike right now right. I know. Well, this weekend you'll be able to watch one of nature's most stunning light displays. All right, this Saturday and Sunday is the annual Perseid meteor shower, which will be most visible over the weekend. There is the potential, get this, to see over 50 meteors per hour, like one a minute, streaking across the sky. The best place, they say, in Oklahoma to watch the meteor shower is at Black Mesa. Now, um, I did see that in Utah right now, there's mm -hmm. a new park that just opened up, and these are tents that have a clear oh, top. Yeah. And they they have a light ordinance, so you cannot make any light pollution out in this area. So you get totally black skies, which means you can view this just in absolute all of its glory. And they say it is going to be a spectacular event. You pay about 350 bucks a night to sleep in a tent, so okay. there's that. But some people love that. I do have some bad news, though. We are expecting overnight rain showers and ah. storms each night this weekend. So hopefully Dang you'll it. be in a clear spot. I'm sorry in no, advance. No, no. That's, you know. <laughs> It is what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so Mega Millions Lottery finally has a jack. Just one winner. Oh, it's still Man. a lot of money. Yeah, it is. All right, so we have a fun show planned for today. My favorite day of the month. Every month, Lisa Bain visits us and brings one of her ministry partners. This month is no exception. And today, Lisa is here with Dr. Jackie Scholl, founder of Sound WRX and Therapy Dog Moose. It's good to see both of you. You and I have known each other for a long time. Lisa and I have. Yeah. First time I'm yeah, meeting this yeah, big eight guy. Eight-month-old eight puppy. We decided to break puppy. moose in today. Yep, he's puppy. a puppy. So, yep. Wow. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, I can't Mabel's wait to see brother. <laughs> when moose gets a little bit bigger. He really will be. Uh, he's got the little moose. tiny paws. I know. I, you know, Lisa always teams up with great organizations. Her ministry does so much to help people of every every caliber across the city and everywhere else and I know she's partnered up with you this is something really neat that you've been working on Jackie now you do audiology you're a doctor of audiology correct correct okay so you have started this group tell me a little bit about why you and Lisa partnered up and what your group is doing sure thank mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. um, so Lisa and I uh, we met we were actually we were actually introduced by Jan Pride, who has happy hands. So there's mm -hmm. this whole hearing impaired, hearing loss, hearing you know deafness that runs through the right. thread, and um, we partnered up. We've been working together. Um, I'm actually a nonprofit as well, and what we're trying to do is find all of the children out in the schools who have auditory pathway disorders, who may have been misdiagnosed with ADHD, reading delays, speech and language problems, which these right. kids have, but they don't, they don't get the targeted intervention 
they never right. get better. They have it, but it, that's not the problem. The problem is the root cause, which you are and your nonprofit are attempting to find to help these kids so that they can be mainstream, so they can, you know, ha have an easier job in school, so they can get all the needs that they have addressed and met. That's absolutely correct okay. because we know that those that have, um, that never can reach the reading level, grade level, mm -hmm. we know that the statistics are really terrible for them. A lot of them end up incarcerated, juvenile delinquents on, um, you know, uh, it's well, just... They get labeled as being, you know, um, having not being able to understand how to do things or being a troubled child or being a kid that's not trying or being a kid that's not intelligent and the bottom line may be they can't hear or they're having trouble processing the brain is having a hard time processing the sounds so now what are you trying to do you're trying to establish a new place where kids can come in and get tested that's correct um, we are opening up a small clinic um, I owned my own clinic I had the Shoal Center for right. years um, I sold that I did not like retirement um, <laughs> it did not it did not suit me well, so um, I started the nonprofit, and the, the clinic will probably open about next week. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we want kids and parents to know that if you have a child that you think might have some auditory processing issues, maybe they've been diagnosed or maybe they haven't with learning disabilities or with hearing disabilities and you suspect there's something a little different that might be going on, how do they contact you? Um, they can contact me right now through email. Our lines are being ported right now as, as we speak. Hopefully, I'll have those up and going um, but they can email me directly at dr. Scholl at soundworks.org um, the phone number once it's not live yet it will right. be but it's 918-600-2525 um, and we will see anyone okay all right well now Lisa you were showing me that you have a special little yes. uh, a little we have, we have mason mace <laughs> moose dogs <laughs> and with hearing aids and oh. we, we kind of just make them to fit the recipient you know with glasses hearing aids um, even insulin pumps these have hearing aids oh, and they're, they're back cool. to school to get those hearing screenings yes <laughs> and right. I know you're doing a lot of stuff too to help kids with backpacks and kids yes. who might be underprivileged mm -hmm. so folks can contact you as well yeah. if they would like to get involved in they many sure can. of your wonderful missions because you take on a new one all the time yep that's right they're yeah. spreading Team happiness work. and joy Teamwork. and Sunny I would say that anyone who wants to come see if there is no there's no mandates within our state that if you're thinking your child is getting a hearing screening in school they're chances not. are they're not okay all right so this is a good time to make an appointment yeah. if yeah. you think that anything is is askew all right thank you ladies pleasure to meet you moose he looks so, you know, he's Mr. Such, Chill. Let's say he's a really high energy dog. Every there. month he'll be bigger and down. bigger and bigger. <laughs> Pretty soon he'll be this big. I was going to say, next time he might not be able to fit through the door. All right, if you would like to get involved to reach out to Lisa or to learn more about her ministries, you can visit her website at lisabain.com. You can also follow her on most of your favorite social media platforms. And uh, also, where if you need information about Jackie and her clinic, get in touch with me, Sunny at ktul.com, and I'll send them your way. Well, school is starting back this week, next week, so it is the perfect time to get the kiddos out of the house one last time to cap <laughs> off their summer vacation. And joining us here to share a few of these events is the editor-in-chief for Tulsa Kids Magazine, Betty Casey. Good morning, Miss Betty. Good morning. Thanks Good for being you. here. It's great to be here. Yeah, so, of course, we're talking all things back to school. Maybe for some of those North Tulsa students who still need some last supplies, um, there's an event going on for this. Yes, I think this is important. There are a lot of back-to-school events. Tomorrow uh, is the North Tulsa Tulsa Parent Back to School Enrichment Extravaganza, and it's to help families get ready for school, and they'll have free school supplies, resources, a lot of food, and information that parents might need. The event is from 3 to 6 at Tulsa Technology Center on, Peor on North Peoria. So this might be a good way to prepare kids for back to school. Yeah, they're going to be around a bunch of other kids who yeah, are all mm -hmm. ready to go back. So get those, you know, socializing. Get them supplies. Get, yeah, yeah, get them all excited to go back. So I can't exactly. believe it's already this time of year that we're talking about the Wiley Post, Will Rogers fly-in. <laughs> yeah. It, it seems like we just talked about this a few weeks ago. I and it's, already, it's been a year. I know. Yeah. I know. The older you get, the faster it goes. Oh, gosh, don't yeah. tell me that. <laughs> I'm saying for myself. <laughs> the annual Will Rogers and Wiley Post fly-in is on Saturday, and it's from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30. Um, this is at Will Rogers Birthplace in Ulaga. It's one of the largest fly-ins in the state. There will be dozens of vintage planes, 
things, which is really cool. They touch down on this grass airstrip near the lake. There will be food trucks, a classic car show, so lots of activities out there, and it, yeah. it's really a, a fun thing to see. And if your kids like airplanes, mm -hmm. it'd be really fun. Oh yeah, Heck, and what kid and doesn't cars. like yeah and cars? Right. <laughs> cars, yes. Well, I hear a car show. I already think of Chief Meteorologist Dan Threlkeld. He pops up at all oh, yeah. the car shows with his go. car, so maybe we'll classic. see him. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about this next event. I feel like <laughs> if you were ever a kid, which we all were, and watch Saturday morning cartoons. This is for everyone of all ages. Yeah, Saturday morning cartoons with your Fruit Loops. Yes. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. Something <laughs> like it. Guthrie Green <laughs> is inviting everyone to watch Saturday morning cartoons at the Green. It's from 10 to noon. Um, you can wear your pajamas, lounge nice. on the lawn, and oversized size bean bags. You can take pillows, blankets. You can watch a mix of classic and current Saturday morning cartoons, and they'll also have some friendly, family friendly activities. And Guthrie Green, of course, is at 111 East Reconciliation Way, and this. I love Scooby Doo. I used to, yeah. used to be one of my favorites. Are there yes. going to be Bugs Bunny cartoons? As I, I told I would. Bugs Bunny. I would yeah. be at my grandma's house. Just watch. my grandparents are probably <laughs> sick of it, but we would just sit there and watch. Oh it. man, I know, it's bringing back all these memories. Oh, all Can right, I go? may have to go leave the kids at home. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Gilcrease, uh, they're always doing something fun for families. Yeah, the building is not there. They're renovating and rebuilding that place, but Gilcrease is having a family-friendly event at Chandler Park. It's on Saturday, and it's to celebrate their third artwork for Gilcrease in Your Neighborhood, and it's Norma Har... Har I'm sorry, Norma Howard's gathering corn. The activities will include corny art activities, <laughs> musical wow. performances, they'll have storytelling and more. This event is from one to four. The program is free, but they would like for people to RSVP so they have enough supplies available and you can look at our calendar <coughs> or the mm -hmm. Find out on more your about screen. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, all the information <laughs> is website. always on your website, <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. And Tell's Kids Magazine. You can still pick up hard copies. I have seen yes. them. I always pick you one can. up when you I go can. into places. They're all around town. All right. Okay. Well, if you are interested in checking these activities out, Tulsa Kids Magazine. For more information on events and so much more, visit TulsaKids.com. They're also on Facebook and Twitter. After the well, happy Thursday. Every Thursday, we take a look at some of your adorable pets. And if you would like to have your pet featured, all you have to do is submit your photos to ktul.com slash chime in or the News Channel 8 app with the description of your furry friend. All right, so we had, we were lucky enough that International Cat Day yeah, has been celebrated this week. So we should be having lots and lots of, oh, aw, oh my, oh my goodness, my one, two, three. Remy, Loki, and Grayson. Oh, oh my gosh, these are adorable. Oh, that, that just warms my heart. Oh, Miss Kremen sent in her babies, Remy, who has the long hair, Loki, who's the tabby, and Grayson, who is gray and white. And my heart is now full. Um, well, Chrissy Wagnum sent this picture of Milo for International Cat Day. Milo, uh, oh, Milo. Oh, got his feet in the pizza. Wait, his feet are in the pizza. Well, it looks like, yep. I yeah, that. somebody had some catnip before he had that yeah, pizza. Yeah, look at those okay. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and finally, this is Zoe. Zoe is a deaf French bulldog who is completely full of sass, says her mom, Alicia Hopman. What a cutie, oh, too. Oh, I, I love a, the little spot over the eye. I love the noises they make. It sounds like they're dying most of the time, oh but their gosh. sounds are really hilarious. So. <laughs> well, if you would like your pet to be featured, just head over to ktwell.com slash chime in or use our News Channel 8 app and submit your photos with at least a little bit of information about your furry friend. And we'll be right back. On tomorrow's show, we'll have a performance from James Robert Webb. And we're going to hear from the drillers about this weekend's games. And their fun promotions. I'm throwing out the first pitch Saturday. Hey, okay. Thanks for watching and have a good day, Tulsa.